All right, so let's go ahead and check out what we have. I'm going to switch this. Now there, you can see these areas where they overlap. I am going to have to do that same operation where I duplicate the hair background. So I'm like this. So as you can see, it's bringing out some of the details there. If we want to bring back the face, you know, start to reveal itself. So here, I will just do this one last thing. Here, let's go ahead and hide these face details. We will have to duplicate the hair. Let's always hide one because we want to come back to it. But for this guy, let's switch them. There's some of these that need to be closed off, such as these right here, because we're going to use Switch these around. And here, what we could do, so that we don't have to do these each one separately, if I select these, here, just pressing this button alone is only going to make them into a group. Instead, you hold down Option. Let's see, oh, I don't like how it makes this compound shape. Um, but you could then expand it. So. Here, let's go ahead and call this the hair highlight. Or just the hair light. Just want to make sure we lock those layers. And we're going to create just one more, which is just the mid-tone between these ha the hair. So this area, that's red. So we're going to do the same technique. I'm going to leave these visible. I'm going to create a new layer, and we'll start tracing these out.
Okay, so here we are. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and continue finishing the rest uh, just for the length of this tutorial, but what I do want to show you now is that now that we have all of these pieces together, and note that they are separate, separated on their own layers, I'm just going to label this one hair mid, is that what I could do now uh, I mentioned that I like working in grayscale. I, only li I like working in grayscale to help me get the tone, to help me get the shape. But now, I don't want to leave it in grayscale. So, say for example, I could start with the hair. If I want to change the hair color, and this is where you're able to experiment. Uh, you could either load some swatches or use some of them that are right here. It's like, what if I want to maybe have this one brown, this mid color, this light color here, and then maybe that's some um, orange. Let's see what it looks like. Eh, maybe that orange is too much. Okay, light brown perhaps. Uh, something like this. Uh, let's change uh, the, c the color of the face. We could start with the face color here. Or, you know, we could also do, um, here, let's do some blues. Yeah, it's supposed to be a little bit darker. Alright, we're able to do something like that as well. There's nothing saying that we have to stick with the colors that we see within the portrait. Uh, you're completely free to experiment. So here, what if I want these darks? I want them to be red. Alright, let's really play with these colors. And then maybe I also want to make these darks, these lighter magentas. Who knows? You could experiment. You could play. Uh, I could add some libraries here. There are some earth tones if I want those. Let's see. You can use some of the color books. Here, let's bring up. Let's see. Oh, there's skin tones here. If we want to use skin tones. Say, for example, for the darks I could leave say here let's use a dark dark brown okay I'm back I continued working on this just a little bit more I just want to show you the end results of all my different layers first we'll go ahead and start off with the image um, you can see how I've, how I've adjusted it. I created this face layer. You're going to notice the additional stuff down here at the bottom. And I'm just going to bring these layers up uh, in the way that I created them. I first created the, the hair base. Then I went ahead and created the darks. From the darks, uh, I have these extra darks, which is basically some shading right here. And then I had these mid darks. You can see how there's more added here. Then I went ahead and added these uh, other, these lighter colors. For the hair, I have the hair highlights and then the mid lights. Also added this additional information. Now notice, I want to point out that these are on their own separate layer because they're going to be able to hide behind these. I'll show them what they look like without the image afterwards. So I have these highlights the mids, and then those darks. Let me hide the image. So this is the end result. Let me hide these other layers. Oh yeah, I also created that detail up on top of the hair, which is another layer because it has to hide behind the forehead. And you can see with these how they're created. So we have this is just basically, this one I kind of worked in reverse where I added the highlights first, then the mids, and then basically everything that's left that's exposed is going to be the darks. So when I bring all of these back, they'll look like this. And I'm just going to go through each one and switch from a stroke, from a fill to a stroke so that you have an idea of what the finish thing looks like without all the fills and it looks something like this which I still think looks uh, rather interesting 
because you get lots of details going on. Um, but you can see how I'm, I'm using a lot of shapes that overlap. Let me zoom in. Just so you can see that you can see in certain areas where they're not even connected. That's because I know that the fill, when I switch it, it's going to go from point A to point B. All right. So let me go ahead and just, I'll bring them back. So I'll go from the top of my layer stack to the bottom. Here's my darks, extra darks. And as I was talking, as I was mentioning earlier, you are able to change these colors. You do not have to use the exact um, tones. You can always come into these swatches. Color property. Let's go into brights. Wow, all right, okay. So let's hair base. Let's try sure. And this might actually look interesting. All right, and let's do let's check out what it looks like. And then the darks. All right, looks pretty cool. Kind of works. All right, but you can see, I definitely want you. I would suggest that you guys uh, play with the different colors because it'll give you different color combinations. Uh, maybe you decide that I just want to use a bunch of blues, or you could pick your favorite colors. Definitely go into the color books, and you could use any one of these different type of guide. So say for example, I'm just going to go ahead and use, uh, let's see, focal tone, maybe. So I have these, and you can see I have all these different swatches. So say for example, what if I want blue for the hair? All right, hair base, I want, sure, we'll check this one. I need a lighter blue and then a really light blue. All right, I'm digging that. I kind of like the color how it is right there, but you get that idea. Experiment. All right, again, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please put them within the comment sections. Uh, but above else, have fun and go forth and create. All right, thank you.